Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest Minecraft series that has ever lived. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. On YouTube. This is Minecraft Squid Island. A series where Slowdo, Craner, and I live together on an island. And in case you've missed the previous couple of episodes, stuff went down. I used to have a lovely pet named Aww. Baby. He was innocent <laughs> but murdered by Slowdo and Craner. And as revenge, I unfortunately killed Craner's fish and made him eat it as a troll. <laughs> I think Craner's probably pretty upset with me. But I just logged on to the server and I noticed these things. Four jelly from Craner. This is my first forgiveness present. The other one is in the bee. That's my bee. I built a beanie memorial. It looks rather pretty. He gave me two diamonds. I guess Craner's trying to win me back. He really regrets having killed beanie. So that's... That's that's cool, I guess. Uh, I'll have a look inside of the bee later. But first things first, I want to tell you exactly what I'm going to do today. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice, but I swear I'll get to it. So I've been exploring around my Squid Island map for a little bit. You see, every now and then I go out hunting for fish or getting more resources. And I realized something. My pyramid, which is that one, is built on top of this, like, water ravine. So I went down it, and I actually found that it continued to a really interesting spot. Look at this, look at this. And then I was like, all right, this gives me a little breather, right? So I took another <gasps> huge breath and continued my way down. And then I found this, a mob spawner. Oh my goodness. Inside the chest, We've got luck of the sea, some seeds, and yeah, bones, which is not that special. But this mob spawner, guys, it made me think. I came up with such a genius idea. Today, I'm gonna build a mob farm. That's right. Currently, I'm level zero in Minecraft, and I need to become level 1000. And how do you do that, Jelly? Well, <clears throat> you use one of these. I don't know why it's not working. Are there too many torches? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely working. Ah! Okay, there we go. I'm level one already. That's that's working really well. All right, let's cover this baby up and start working on our mob spawner. All right, so we got to make some room. This mob spawner is basically going to be in the middle of a box. So we've got to dig four blocks this way. There you go. Four blocks. Oh, goodness. This way. This could become tricky. There's a lot of water here. Okay, there we go. Finally getting rid of some of the water. That's real nice. Okay, so we're starting to carve this out. We also have to dig four blocks deep. Oh, this is gonna take me a minute. These are actually really easy to build, but don't tell Trainer and Slogan I'm doing this, all right? I'm doing an XP grind for a reason that I'll tell you later. Redstone, thank you. All right, I'll take some of the gold, I guess, as well. All right, we're almost done digging here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a little stream of water, which is gonna push all the zombies into a corner. Then they'll fall on a block where I'm standing with a pickaxe, and I'll be slashing all of them and getting my XP. <laughs> I need to have an entrance though my entrance is gonna be over here that's all neatly closed i still have access to the water tunnel which is right behind here somewhere all right now we're gonna grab a water bucket we'll place uh one over here one over there maybe i should create an infinite source of water first okay there we go does that work so the water is never stationary except for if you land here but that's okay if you land here it's gonna keep you moving all right that's good so the zombies, they're essentially gonna land here in a little canal. And this canal is gonna flow this way. Aha! Okay, and then <clears throat> I remove all the torches and the water spawner. And oh my god, it's already working. Ah! Okay, yeah, wait. I cannot see anything. But, uh, I saw a zombie. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, it's happening quick. All right, here we go then. I don't even have a sword. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god, why didn't I bring a sword? Sword does uh, more damage than just an axe. Uh, all right, be right back. I'm going to get a sword, and we're going to get some levels. Look at that. I'm already level four. Wow. Life just got real easy. I'm already level 19. Look at those levels going up. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually insane. Oh, they're mini zombies. Hello. I'm pretty sure to make it even more efficient, I could place hoppers because they're going to like pick up all the trash. But uh, for now, I'm kind of happy with this. This is fine for me. I'm going to get 30 levels. I just need like a couple more zombies. Okay, I'm level 32. I literally have stacks of rotten flesh. I'm done. This is too easy, man. All I'm asking for is don't tell Slogo and Craner about my mob farm, please. I mean, it is very hidden, though. And it's also on my land. So, you know, they're not even allowed to come here. Uh-oh, I didn't use the breather area. Ah, 
there we go. You might be wondering like, Jelly, what you gonna do with all those levels? You don't even have an enchantment table. You know what I have to say to that? That's true, but I could make one. <laughs> you see, I thought I had a bunch of stuff in this chest. That's not good. Okay, wait, uh, b -b -b please tell me I have everything I need for this. Uh, I need two diamonds. I need obsidian, which is easy. I've got a ton. Oh, yes, bookshelves. You see, <clears throat> a couple of books will do, some diamonds, and a couple of obsidian. I could just go to the nether, but I removed my nether portal. That's not very smart. Don't tell the boys this. I'm just gonna get it from under the carpet. All right, one more. There we go. I suppose I could use a new nether portal, but before we get to that, I gotta show you guys my <gasps> new tower. You might have seen it if you realized in our previous video, it was already there, but I finally have a reason for this tower to exist. You see, this is not gonna be the final tower on my land. We already have a huge level tower, which is just a little bit too far away. You can't even see it. But this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is gonna be our enchantment tower. Look how sick this place is. Um, I'm gonna do it in the basement because I feel like that's actually kind of a safe area because the enchantment room is um is made out of wood. All right, so let's see if we place the enchantment table there. Will it set on fire? I actually don't know this. Okay, how's this for an enchantment table? Is that good? That'll do the job, right? All right, then I just need to get some more ladders for in here. And then we can level up some gear, dude. Whoa, we're gonna become the strongest player in the server. That's the goal. All right, let's make that enchantment table and 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 enchantment. I am so curious what I'm gonna get, but I hope it's something good. I forgot my ladders, okay. Ladder, ladder, ladder. I'm really starting to like the look of our new island, though. I know it still has a little bit of unfinished touches over here, but we're slowly filling it up with useful things, and I like it. All right, there we go. We might go to the nether and make, like, a glowstone edge over here. For now, we'll fill it with deep slate. I like deep slate. It's a cute rock. Uh, yeah, because we don't have a portal, so I couldn't even get nether, uh, nether rack. All right, let's see. Does this do the job? Boom. Oh, yeah, it likes it. Oh yeah, it likes it. Oh yeah, it likes it. We're gonna get, we're gonna get our blue lapis. Found my lapis. I also made a fresh diamond pickaxe. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Please tell me we're gonna get something good. Unbreaking three. Are you kidding me? I need many more levels. Should I just quickly do my sword once? Sharpness one. I mean, I'll take it, I guess. I'm gonna go and get some more levels and I'll come back. Ah, okay. Uh, 39 levels. Hopefully that's enough. I also brought a fresh sword. Oh, efficiency three. Ooh, that's really good. All right, so that one's kind of done. All right, so let's use a diamond sword. Okay. Maybe another diamond sword. I, can, I still have levels. Oh, what is... What does that even do? And then another pickaxe. Silk touch, silk touch with unbreaking three and efficiency three. Oh my God. All right, so then use some levels for our armor. Not too bad. Would you look at that? I'm becoming OP again. Jelly's back. Jelly is back in town. I never left anyway. Ooh, okay, that's looking good. That's looking good. Where's our anvil? I used to have one here. Okay, so silk touch plus this one. Oh, wow. That is one good pickaxe, dude. Bane of Athropis. I don't know what that does. Let me just quickly Google it. It increases your attack damage against mobs such as spiders. That's useless. I'll combine it anyway. I can't even afford that. Suppose that means it's very good. Can you combine Unbreaking 3 with Unbreaking 3? You get Unbreaking 3 back. There is no point to do that. All right. I guess we'll keep working on those Anchants. Anchants. Did I just say that word? But I do have myself a sick diamond pickaxe, which I quickly want to try on some obsidian. That's quick. That's quick. That's quick, dudes. I got a couple of obsidian blocks back, which means I can build myself a new portal. I suppose here works. All right, just slightly larger than average. Look at that. Nice portal. Woohoo! All right, let's quickly check out this nether thing then. And then we gotta go check out Craner's present. All right, we're in the nether. Oh my God. Oh, this is so easy now. I just beat Minecraft pretty much. Look at how much damage I'm doing to the world. All right, great. That gives me a lot of new blocks to play with. And it's considerably more easy to get obsidian now. So I have an idea, which uh, probably includes upgrading my pyramid a little bit more later down the line. I'm not going to do that today, though. What we're going to do now is we're going to check out Rainer's present. All right, here we go. Uh, there that has so many blocks. Wait. Why did I come out here? I don't agree with that. There will only be one nether portal. 
Sorry, Josh. I'll just place the obsidian back so he can turn it on if he wants to. All right, I didn't really do any damage there, did I? All right, so the present. Do I really care? No, not really. But we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna have a look what it is. The lava tower looks amazing. And the obsidian lava tower on Craner's uh, part of land, which I basically got from him. Th that, that also looks really good. I'm so happy with the style I'm going for. Look at this. I need a bigger pyramid though. We're gonna we're gonna work on that next. All right, so uh, I needed to go up here, and then no, no. What is this? What is this? What is this? I stood on some. What? Um. <laughs> Crainer, did you just try to troll me, but it didn't even work? Are you kidding me? I'm also dumb enough to stand on some of the pressure plates. I thought we were friends. I thought you'd forgiven me or something. Crainer, it's on. 